Hey everybody, it's Kyle. You know, today I want to tell you, this is something I don't do very often, but I'm going to tell you about a time when we were stressed out as a family. I'm telling you, it was combat zone type stress in our home. And it was back when, when Eric and Ricky were younger, very much younger. And I don't know, but have you ever had two kids that just didn't get along and drove each other nuts? <laughs> well, imagine the two kids that don't get along and drive each other nuts are both on the autism spectrum. And you've got what was happening in our home. You've got uh, Eric, who likes to be left alone. He's very uh, quiet, reserved. If you put him in his room and gave him some toys and movies and fed him pizza and uh, eggs and cheese toast, he would live a happy life without ever communicating with anyone, ever. And you've got Ricky, who's on the spectrum, who is uh, ADHD, highly, highly, highly social, constantly wanting attention, and will do almost anything to get it. And the person he wanted attention from the most was Eric. And so uh, it was not unusual for, we tried putting them in separate rooms. We tried, uh, well, I'm, I'm not gonna go into all the kind of stuff we tried, but you name it. We tried to separate them, keep them apart. And, and that just wasn't a, a realistic option because they weren't gonna be separated. Um, Ricky wasn't gonna allow it. He was just, so it wasn't unusual for the days of the week to go like this. And we'll start with Sunday, which would wake up with uh, a smash because Ricky um, would take Eric's bionicle and run with it. <laughs> and Eric would pick up the closest item that would hurt very, very bad and throw it at him. Or Ricky would just quietly pester him. You know, here's the deal. The stress was overwhelming. It was, you know, what do you do when each of your kids has their own issues understanding and they pester each other and ramp each other up and escalate each other? Well, it, it, you have stress that's out of this world. You have stitches, bones that are broken. You have a, sma a smashed up house. I'm telling you, there was a time when our home looked like a war zone because of the um, holes in walls and smash windows and wood over things, uh, windows that we couldn't replace. And it was just a bad, it was a real bad time for us. Um, but I do want to tell you this, that we didn't give up. We kept looking and kept trying and kept attempting different strategies uh, and we had a focus on if anybody could make this better, we could. And um, over a period of time and, and through a lot of failure and finding the right strategies and consistently performing those strategies, we were able to bring those two kids together. And now they're, they have, they share a room uh, and, it, and, and they actually like each other. They respect each other's uh, way of doing things. You know, we still have moments where they're tricky, but they're very few and far between. And when they do have tricky moments, we're able to, to address them with each of the young, each of our boys and their level of understanding so that we can reduce that stress. So, you know, I don't talk a lot about the stress that we had as a family. I don't talk a lot about the biting and the scratching and the headbutting and the throwing of anything that was big enough to hurt you. I don't talk a lot about that because what I want you to focus on is is working on resolving those issues. And more importantly than that is never, never, never giving up. Continue to look for strategies. Continue to search and work at solving those problems and helping those kids live in a lowered stress home. Um, and if you'll do that, you're going to have some success. Now, I will warn you about this. Uh, don't expect them to grow out of it. <laughs>
We work with a lot of families. We work with a lot of families that have grown kids that still do this because they haven't been able to find the right strategies and address them properly. Thank goodness we can help them do that when we come in, but there's no reason for you to live with it for the next 15 or 20 years or however long you need to. The time is now to start addressing these things and put some strategies in place that work in your home that allow you to lower the stress for everybody, not just your kids on your spec on the spectrum, but for you, for your marriage, because it can be a strain on that too. We've had moments where we didn't think our marriage would work. So do that. Have a great day. Don't give up. Search, hunt, work hard, struggle to find those things that can help your family. If that's us, perfect. We'd love to help you, but keep keep working at it. Don't give up. It doesn't go away on its own. We'll talk to you next time. Bye-bye.